the truth is that testosterone makes effort feel good. So when I say effort, I talk about anything that's like hardworking, that requires a lot of work, a lot of time, concentration, and that kind of stuff. We don't talk about we don't talk about this enough. I feel like, and I actually really I actually only learned about this really recently, which really shocked me. So I came to the realization that a lot of the time when we're feeling lazy, tired, or just like not really motivated to do a lot of things in our lives, that is kind of a result of low testosterone when it happens in guys most of the time, and that also kind of explains why. A lot of the things that get done and accomplished and built in the world are, are done by men because hard work requires more concentration and on average I'm pretty sure that men tend to have like up to 10 times more testosterone in their body than women that's on that's on average on an average level for whoever man is trying to achieve something that they know will be hard like achieving a long-term goal doing something that not a, not a lot of people have done like separating yourself from the pack and taking specific steps to raise your testosterone is going one of the best things you can do for yourself and for your future self and to actually get the motivation you need to be consistent and disciplined in doing the hard work day after day without feeling like going into a slump or just feeling detached from the effort or feeling like you don't feel like working anymore. If you don't believe what I'm saying, just like try to test it in your own life, like take your testosterone level, test your testosterone levels at one point in time and take some steps that I'm going to talk about in the rest of this video to improve your testosterone over time and just see how much driven you are to actually go out and conquer things, go out and like achieve your goals set goals achieve them take the steps necessary and do the hard work and not even really care about the hard work being hard but like kind of enjoying the hardness in the things you're doing i said that testosterone makes effort feel good but it actually just really makes it more toler tolerable and actually worth it in your life so so that's really in my opinion one of the reasons why a lot, a lot of the people that achieve a lot of things in life like if you look at uh, entrepreneurs that are pretty much kind of changing society like leaders of a, of large groups of people they tend to real they tend to all have really high testosterone levels because that's what's needed to do that kind of hard work to be responsible for that many lives that many employees and kind of like the structuring and the growth of a large business that likely influences millions of people and a lot of money that comes with that as well that's also the reason why you can often see high school athletes even starting to work out really young because of the high testosterone in, the, in their body. Working out doesn't feel like a chore to them. They kind of just see the benefits of it because of the testosterone. They feel like by doing more of this hard thing, I get more pleasure out of it and benefits that come with it. And the testosterone ends up rising even more after that as well. So it's really just a cycle, a beneficial cycle that I would say anyone any man can take advantage of if he knows about it because sadly enough a lot of us don't know about the benefits that testosterone has on the body on the male body especially because it's pretty it's because it's pretty much the primary male hormone but we're literally taught so little about it you have to go out of your way out of school to learn about what testosterone does and the benefits of it and how to increase it in your own life and use those benefits for to better your own life to live a better to have a better life quality on top of that some other benefits of testosterone high testosterone other than making you feel good about putting effort and putting in hard work are that it makes your voice deeper it makes you it makes you gain muscle faster and easier it makes you more competitive like more driven to actually go out and do things and compete with other people and give your best and also just makes you more masculine overall because as I already said, it's the primary male hormone. It's what makes your balls drop when you start going through puberty. It makes your beard grow. It makes your your face look more masculine, more chiseled, like having like a better jawline. That's all linked to testosterone. So it's really just a bunch of benefits to raising your testosterone while you can. And especially while you're young because as you grow older, it is it eventually starts going down and... We want to make, we want to push that back as far as possible while we still can and while we're still young and healthy. 
So, uh, so I want to end off this video by talking about some ways men can increase their testosterone naturally because there are some unnatural ways that you can do that too, but that's, that's not what I'm interested in right now. Uh, for young people, like I'm 23 right now, so I guess for people under 35, under 40, all the way down to like pretty much teenagers too, uh, those things will help you increase your testosterone in natural ways and just make you feel better overall as a man so one of the first thing i want to talk about is actually getting enough sleep because that is so underrated right now uh, getting a lot of good quality sleep is essentially guaranteed to increase your testosterone i don't have any studies to cite right now but it just makes sense that since the pro since the body produces a lot of what it needs during your sleep getting good rest at night especially especially in times right now when most people are actually sleep deprived getting enough good quality sleep at night will boost your testosterone during the rest of the time while you're awake and you can take advantage of that Another way to maximize your testosterone production is actually to eat food with fat, with healthy fats. So that would so that would be avocados, eggs, uh, some fishes, and I'm pretty sure nuts too has pretty healthy fats that you can eat. Since testosterone is actually made up from the fats in the food that you eat, making sure that you eat enough of it so that your body isn't starved for fats and can produce testosterone uh, it's at its best capacity will only bring benefits to you but you still want to be watching your calories if you if you're bulking or cutting so you want to balance that out as well with the with the amount of protein and carbs that you're also eating during the day then there's also exercise but you should already be doing that because well exercise has a bunch of other benefits other than producing testosterone lifting heavy weights especially will help produce more testosterone testosterone in your body because of the amount of muscle you gain while doing that and then the amount of muscle you have will also boost your testosterone so that's also another positive cycle that you can take advantage of i tend to notice signs of my testosterone going higher on the days where i work out my legs because they are the largest muscle groups in your body so on the days you work out legs doing squats or even deadlifts and heavy lifts like that you'll probably notice that you feel just more motivated more masculine overall and that's essentially a result of your muscles being active on those days in ways they're not on different days and that produces more testosterone in your body and you kind of feel it in the way you feel about yourself the way you think and the way you and your relationship to doing hard work and getting things done as well so yeah lifting heavy weights is another way to boost your testosterone and essentially the good the great thing about that is that as you gain more muscle your body naturally will produce more testosterone anyway but you so you so you essentially gain more testosterone all throughout the cycle of while you're working out and lifting weights and in turn again when you decide to start cutting or just to start losing fats the more muscle you have the faster your weight loss will be so that's helped by both the amount of muscle you have on your body and your level of testosterone because you lose weight easier with higher testosterone i'm pretty sure a good guideline for maximizing your testosterone output in your body is to try to stay between uh, about 10 and 16 percent body fats that's pretty much the the level where your testosterone is at its highest if you go over 16 percent body fats your testosterone production tends to lower and so we don't really want that but if you're bulking for like not a long time and you're not going to be out of that zone for a long time i guess it should be fine but, but you might prefer to stay in the range where your production is at its highest for as much as you can during the year Lastly, you can also maximize your testosterone production by making sure your stress levels are at the lowest they can be because the stress hormone, I forgot what it's called, essentially has a negative correlation with your testosterone production. So the more of that stress hormone you produce in your body, the less testosterone you'll be producing during that time. And the opposite is also true. So by lowering by lowering your te your stress levels as much as you can by doing the things that you can like meditation mindfulness meditation you can essentially over the long term lower your stress levels so that your testosterone production increases as much as possible and is as is at its best as much as you as it can be 
So for that you want to so for that you want to adopt some practices that are known to lower stress levels like getting good sleep for example which has a lot of benefits of course and also mindfulness meditation that I already talked about which lowers stress levels over the long term uh, you can also start reading books um, staying off social media and other things that tend to produce stress in your life when you do them too much and also and also just a bunch of things that produce stress in your life and on your body overall so there's a bunch of those things that you can look out for and make sure that your testosterone levels are not hurt by your bad habits and the things you do in life so yeah that's all the advice i had and wanted to talk about in this video so i hope it's been useful and prov provided some value to y'all so yeah take care of your testosterone to make effort feel good and i'm gone